Hello and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. This tutorial is on the plugin Cookie Monster. This plugin lets you decide whether mobs should give you money or not. You can set them so they either give you nothing, they give you some money, or they can even give you negatives. They can even be set by the item that you kill them with. As such, killing a creeper with a bow does not give you money. I'll spawn another creeper. If I kill this creep with a sword, it will give me a reward. As you can see, this can be set under the config file, which I'll show you in a minute. You can also spawn other ones. If you just type in spawn mob, you can see all the different types. There's loads. You can spawn anything. You can set the rewards for all of these. I'll spawn a giant. These have lots of health and harder to kill, although I'm on creative mode so it won't attack me. Although because it's spawned on top it's a bit glitchy. So as you can see it takes lots of arrows. Although when this is killed it will give you nothing, but this can be changed in the config. The config file for Cookie Monster is fairly big. There's lots of things that you can change. I mean, you can change whether you want it in decimals or not. So if you just change that round to whole numbers true, and then it will just give you 1, 2, 3, 4 instead of the decimals. And then there's lots of other options you can change, such as what it drops, what they say when you kill them, who can kill them, whether, they, whether you can make farms so you can get the rewards for farming. These can all be set under here. Most of these I don't personally change. The ones that you need to change are the ones at the bottom, which tend to be the prices of the animals. I mean, as you can see there, it's just replace drops. If you change that to true, it change it to the drops that you can enable. This is the part of the file that most people will be interested in. It's where you can set drops or coins. You can see that a chicken drops egg or feather. These can all be changed, so I could make it so that a chicken can drop coins as well. I just copy coins off the creeper. But make sure you use spaces, don't use tabs, because otherwise it doesn't work and it corrupts the file. And there's that. So now if I killed a chicken, it would give me 1 to 4. That's good. You can just change all of these. I mean... Some of them aren't set, such as pig, but you could set that so it could drop money if you needed that on your server. Giants not likely to drop. Once again, you could change this to diamonds or something, and then have it as a special event and spawn one a week for players to kill. There's lots of different things you could change here. Like if you kill a tame wolf, it will give you minus money, the same as killing a monster spawner. If you kill a player, it will give you 1 to 10 coins. I guess it depends on how expensive your economy is. I use essentials, so I've set the prices fairly reasonably, so these prices fit in with it. And here are the drops for a skeleton. I'll show you quickly. It's a bow and an arrow. I'll just show you the IDs. As you can see, a bow and an arrow. When you kill a skeleton, you'll get a 10% chance of getting a bow, or an 80% chance of getting four arrows. Thanks for watching, I hope this video has helped, if it has please remember to rate, subscribe and comment.